Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. So back today with a late video, it's a while since I've done one. So just a quick video today on the process of knurling. So you might be familiar with knurling from seeing it from, uh, say if you go to the gym, barbells have a knurl on them and dumbbells, um, or handlebars. So this is used for grip, so it provides a nice grip on a metal bar. So as I'm sure you're aware, the likes of uh, the aluminium, the steel and the brass, when it's not knurled, can be quite slippy. So any piece that is gonna be like, this was a, a turning knob for a project a couple of years ago. A nice little knurl on that is a really w nice way to enhance the project. So first of all, you need to slow down your lathe. So that's something that you'll have to get your teacher to do. So if you look at the speed here, I think that is set to 40 RPM as opposed to 800 to what it's normally at. So you need to set uh, that up. You then need to set your knurling tool. So I'll show you a close up on that later. Your knurling tool, uh, this is just a single knurling tool. You can get a double knurl as well. So to do the process of knurling, we place the knurling tool up against the workpiece like that and apply a bit of pressure. So the more pressure you apply um, inwards with the knurling tool in here, the deeper the knurl you are going to get. We then turn on the lathe. You can see the knurl starting to form. And then you use your automatic feed. So this is something we touched upon um, in videos before. So if we just get a nice close up there, you can see now we've got a lovely knurl. So it's a really, really nice um, thing to add to a project. So you can just come along then and just part off here um, as you normally would. So thanks for watching everybody and see you all in the next video.